Thank you for taking the time to watch a video by Pan Society. I'm Sherry. Today I'd like to talk about the winter solstice, which um, if you live in the northern hemisphere is actually right around the corner. Uh, and I'll get to more in, about that in a second. Um, let's back up a little bit. The, the, I want to discuss the difference between solstices and equinoxes. Um, Equinoxes, as the name implies, means equal, which means there's an equal amount of daylight and an equal amount of nighttime. This occurs in the spring and in the fall. Now, in the summer and the winter, we have what's called the solstice. Um, and solstice actually means, roughly, sun stands still. And in the northern hemisphere, uh, the winter solstice, which is the longest night of the year and the shortest day occurs around December 21st, December 22nd. Now if you're in the southern hemisphere this actually flip-flops and you're uh, while the northern hemisphere is going through their winter solstice the people in the south uh, southern hemisphere are actually going through their summer solstice and vice versa so in the summer um, roughly June 21st June 22nd the northern hemisphere is going through their summer solstice uh, which means that they'll have a longer day um, the Southern Hemisphere will actually be going through their winter solstice. Uh, so now that we've cleared that up, and I hope it's not too confusing, um, when I talk about winter solstices from now on in this video, um, it, it, it can apply to both hemispheres. I won't mention dates anymore. Um, for the most part, the winter solstice is actually when we have the longest night of the year. So the days, that day is extremely short. Um, it kind of signifies that uh, it's either midwinter or the end of winter depending on how you want to see it or where you are where you're living um, it's a great time for us to observe as well because we can take a lot from nature uh, we notice during this time that all the leaves of the deciduous trees are have fallen off um, the trees are kind of bare and skeleton looking in the forest except for evergreens and um, conifers they're still green they'll always be green um, Animals like squirrels and bears have saved up their stores of food and have hibernated um, and everything else has slowed down. If you have chickens, you know, unless you keep a light in the coop, that this is the year that they've slowed down, they don't lay as much or at all. Um, and those are cues that we need to take too. And sometimes we actually do mimic them um, because winters are hard. Uh, from ancient days, this was the time that you slaughtered all your animals because you had nothing to feed them in the winter. Um, you weren't growing anymore. So you sold what you could and uh, preserved what you could. And then you kind of feasted on everything else that was fresh because if not, it was going to go bad. Um, this is that time where we think about... Uh, planning for next year as well. Um, even though it's slumber, it's quiet, uh, these are the moments that we want to think about our garden, uh, things that we're going to do. But we also want to take rest for our own bodies because during uh, the spring and summer and even the fall, we're kind of a go, go, go people. And um, we don't have to be. This is like nature saying, hey, slow down, you know, be calm, be quiet. Um, another thing that I love, if you keep bees, you'll notice that on the equinox, uh, they are very quiet, reserved, they've eaten their food stores. Um, so the day after, they actually kick into motion and they're cleaning out the hive, they're cleaning out the dead bodies of the poor bees that didn't make it through winter. They're cleaning out the honeycomb, they're checking the last stores of food, and they're kicking into gear to start laying eggs. Now, they're not going out and, and flying around and looking for pollen because there isn't any, but they're getting ready to. The queen is just getting ready to lay a bunch of eggs, and she is really uh, ready to start building this colony. And that's one of those things that we could take a lesson from, is building up those stores and, and getting ready to burst forth when spring comes and the days get longer so that we can actually go out and accomplish things. Um, another thing for me uh, during the solstice is uh, planning out things because I do plant by moon phases and that's another thing I'll talk about in a, a future video. Um, so this is that time that nothing else is going on and uh, I do have the time to focus on all that. So what are some ways that you uh, observe the winter solstice? Do you do anything special? Uh, do you plan for next year? Do you just take a break? Let me know down below. Um, leave me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.